Hello guys and welcome to YouTube and in this episode I will be reviewing the Yongnuo Speedlight the YN560 Mark IV. I've had this Speedlight for quite some time now and um, I've taken multiple pictures with it. It still feels as good as the day it was bought. It uses four AA batteries. The four batteries I'm using in here are the uh, Duracell rechargeable extra life ones, the Duralock, a review to come on those. I found this to be one of the best flash guns I have ever had for the money. I think I paid uh, £52 for this one quite a while back now. I'm not going to go into specific details because there is multiple videos on YouTube where you can actually learn how to set up one of these. It has an electronic bounce function um, rather than you actually having to move the uh, head itself. It does actually have a pop-out diffuser as well and a bounce flash card there. It has multiple outputs and inputs. There is a flash output there um, as well as a power input. Uh, I do believe Yongno make a battery power pack, an external battery pack that you can power these as well. It can work itself as a slave unit and with the optical slave there on the front. It also comes with normal 2.4 gigahertz receiver so it can be used with Yongno transmitters. One of the 2.4 gigahertz transmitters that uh, this does work with is the RF603C. Uh, Mark II um, which I use on my G5 but I've had to do modifications to this to get it to actually work so um, there'll be a link in the description to uh, a video on how to do that or how I did that I've also purchased an additional flash head filter here to go on the end it has the bounce swivel head there as well it, as I said earlier it is fully wireless with the optical trigger and with the uh, 2.4 gigahertz triggers as well at 105 millimeters which is its fullest extent and an ISO of 100 it has a guide number of 58 it also has a sound prompting system as well which you can turn off so uh, if you're using this wirelessly you can hear uh, as to when the uh, flash is fully repowered or not plus it has the um, the pilot light there as well which will glow the right color to tell you when the uh, when it's recharged with a good set of batteries uh, like I said earlier I'm using the Duracells this will recycle extremely quickly even on full power you can also use this with an external power supply there There's also a dedicated button to light up the screen as well on the back, which is really useful if you're using it at night. It also comes with a carrying case here, which also has a little pocket for a foot as well, which you can uh, mount the flash into. This flash gun has multiple power settings. It can range from one second on full power down to 1 28th of a second. The zoom function also ranges from 105 millimeters down to 24. This does have multiple flash functions. Um, you can see that on the review that I've done over on the website, which will be down in the description below the video. There's also a link on the website to the user's manual where you can read the manual first to familiarize yourself with the item before you make your purchase. It's a simple power on, power off as well. Uh, you just hold the button down to power it on and you do the same to power it off. If you like the video, please feel free to give us a subscribe and a like and remember to click the bell icon for regular weekly uploads. Thanks for coming guys and I will see you in the next video.